what is up everybody eagle here back with day number nine of vlogmas and this has been actually a requested video for a lot of people i've done these before kind of the eagle in the house but instead i'm outside i got the practice basket behind me um, i'm going to show you all my collectible discs what i feel like are really cool and are pretty much new since the last time I've done one of these videos. There might be some of the same ones, but I'm basically gonna show you all my favorite discs that I own that are backups, that are kind of collectible. I don't really collect discs. I just collect uh, the discs that I think feel good. Um, but you know, when you collect those or when you get a hold of those at the Discmania warehouse, sometimes they end up being collectible without you even thinking about it. So disclaimer, None of these are for sale. I don't want to get rid of, rid of any of these. Uh, so if you ain't getting none of this. So please don't even try. I'd rather have the disc than money. Let me just get that out of the way. And now that I got that out of the way, let's start. Okay. Two of the discs I really like are these Galaxy P2s. Yeah, you can kind of get a gist of what these guys look like. This was um, for the mystery boxes, I believe two or three years ago. Just holding on to these two because I think they're cool. I don't use D-lines, but they are very pretty in my opinion. Shout out to Les White. He sent me two of the D-line glow P2s from Halloween. Les White signature and everything. So that is pretty cool. Okay. This is a very used disc, but I consider it collectible. It's a very old P2 and you probably can't you might be able to see it is if you look on the inner rim this disc was given to me by uc maresma it's got a faded tri fly and i believe it's a p line p2 i definitely think it's a p line p2 super beat up i've used it uh on quite a few events and it's just a, a really special disc to me probably one of my favorites in my collection it get it gets used as a practice putter every now and then i'll bring it out for a tournament to have as a, a backup kind of beat up long range putter this is a triumph series tri fly p2 this one's a little bit used actually i'm probably going to end up using this maybe next year uh feels super good and then all these next all these ones coming are the same run it's the imperial eagle uh one glow p line p2 run this one is team stamped, very beautiful. I'm probably gonna send most of these to Jay at Huck Lab to die up. So this will look absolutely awesome with a tri-fly. Um, classic uh, Imperial Eagle white stamp that has a little bit of use, not much. Um, but you know, I, I can't believe that these are going for like $100 each now. I just like using them because I think they feel the best out of uh, any P2 made. So that's the reason why I use them. I'm not flexing or anything. Uh, <laughs> I just like the way they feel and fly. Another Imperial Eagle. Then this one is very special. Shout out to Austin Montgomery for sending me two of these guys when I was in need in Emporia, Kansas. Uh, the baskets ate my discs alive, shreds all over them, and I needed uh, a new putter. So Austin sends me two of the glow p line p2 runs with chef special stamps what chef special stamp is means there's basically two different foils uh as you can see this one's got gray and white the other one he sent me was a purple and green version of this and i used that and i found uh, a lot of success with that putter i used it for the the middle part of the season uh this year so this is kind of its twin and i absolutely love this and I'm gonna probably put with this at the world championships probably gonna end up sending it to Jay as well I'm gonna send most of these to Jay just for my backups tri fly Imperial Eagle uh, Kono Piste uh, Triumph series run and then these three are just two three brand new Triumph series p2s okie dokie next up just an old uh, P line run that I really like. I'm gonna send that to Jay as well. I'm just send him all my putters. It'll look sweet. Okay, this one's pretty special. Um, this is a KP2 with the the uh, my original Eagle P2 stamp. Uh, I did this because I wanted to you know use a P2 but also uh, rep my my putters. You can see I tried to wipe the the stamp behind here, but 
KP2. I actually have, I have three of these that I was using. This one goes in and out of the bag depending on how hot, how hot it is. Uh, the KP2 is a very stiff version of the P2 and I really like the way it behaves in like uh, 85 degree plus weather. So I use these two if that's the case. I put these uh, at Worlds 2019 um, and this is just a, a new version of that. These are just uh, for the practice basket at the moment. 10, 10 time eagle. UC Maresma was messing around on the stamping machine in Finland and he just did 10 eagle stamps on this one P2. So there's no other disc like that, especially from UC Maresma. Got the ink stamp on the back. Uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's, just a, it's a cool little memento. I don't know, this isn't worth that much, I don't think, but you know, it's worth a lot to me. It's worth a lot to me. Okay, this is a one of one. Uh, I was just messing around at the factory and I stamped my Triumph series stamp from the 2019 Memorial on a P2. Not enough foil, so the top part of the stamp's kind of burnt into the disc, but you know, this is a, this is a pretty unique one. Okay, now two of, these are my favorite P2s probably. I mean, look at the burst on these. I posted a picture of these on the collector's group uh, a while back and got some love. I don't, I haven't seen that many of these. Apparently there's more out there, but I, the fact that I have two to myself, I love it. I don't know if I'll ever putt with these just because I think they're so pretty and they, they mean a lot to me in my collection. So these are, these are sweet. Now, I just have three of my original uh, purple Eagle P2s. Just, you know, basically, I wanna have a stash, an archive of some of my old signature series stamps. So that's what these are. Uh, I got six of the Imperial Eagle 2s. And I know Ezra putts with those. If he comes to Disc Mania, then I'm gonna be hooking him up with two of those. So. Come on, Ezra, come to Dismania. Uh, <laughs> got two pink of pink uh, Imperial Eagle 2s, just uh, more of the stash. Okay, and that's pretty much the, the P2 portion. Let me put these away so I can move on to the next part. Next up, I didn't even think these were gonna become collectible. Literally, they're, they're supposed to be one of our cheaper discs, but Somehow that, that happened. So I got just uh, about five tiger or guardian lions. Uh, I got two blue guys. Uh, I actually throw these now and then, so I'll probably break uh, one of these out for next year. Some white ones, and then this is the most used one. This was actually getting some uh, course time. I have another one in Alabama that I probably put in the bag before this one, but Got a few Tiger Warriors for for backups. An actual Tiger Warrior that I keep, I mixed, you know, th th this disc has three different names, so it, I get mixed up. Uh, original Tiger Warrior, only have one of these pink ones, which actually are an incredible flyer. This is probably my favorite version over the one that I just showed you. Uh, and now this is the most collectible one. Got the European Open Tiger Warrior, 172 to 174 gram. I have no idea how this is going for like 70 to 80 dollars, but I have another one that's beat up that's been in my bag for a while. This one probably won't go in my bag just for the the reason that it's collectible. <laughs> but you know, it's good to good to have some stash. Next, uh, just a just a team stamp DP3X. This is one of the first ones to come out, so I think it's first ish run. Who knows? I might put that in the bag even. Who knows? Uh, okay, these are cool. These are really cool. So, when the Razor Claw slash Tactic was first getting made, they they made this really special eagle stamp for me. This is only to come out of the Latitude Factory in Sweden. It says, to or from Sweden to eagle. So these are very special. These are both exo hard tactics. The prototypes, so this, this is really cool. I have two of them in Exo Hard. Actually, I had another one, but I gave it away. I posted it on my Instagram. I don't know, I forget who got it. I have one brand new of the Vapor, which is the plastic that it, it came out in, and one that I was using. 
So these are very, very unique. Uh, I don't know if there's, there might be two or three more out there. Some, I think Jeff Corns has one actually. So then basically just this whole stack is razor claws. Uh, let me divvy it up. Okay, so the I have, these are five of the later runs, uh, not the broken claw. This broken claw, this one I was using is a broken claw. Broken claw, broken claw, broken claw, broken claw. So we got how many? Six broken claws, five non-broken claws of the razor claw. Rawr. And on to the next section. Now for the mid ranges. Uh, I have a prototype C line MD5. This was a, a backup to the one I was throwing this past year. This prototype is super good. Uh, really like these. Uh, but unfortunately, there's I only know about three in existence. So I don't know how, how uh, reliant I'll be on these guys. Then I have four of my Memorial Triumph uh, Glow MD5, two of my Triumph back-to-back -back BSF MD5. Okay, now this is the this is a fun part. MD3s, two of the European uh, Open Wolverine stamps. I have two more. I have like three more. Uh, in my car and in my other car in Alabama. So I have about four to five of these total. Just basically, you know, using them only when I need them. I think this is still one of the best runs of MD3. Uh, and unfortunately, they're very expensive now. Uh, this is from around the same run as well. This is the Innova Store Maze Stamp. First run, early glow MD3. Very beautiful. And believe it or not, I'm not proud of this. This is the only 5503 MD3 that I have. Uh, shout out to Michael Tipping to, for sending this to me. This was a while ago before these skyrocketed in price, but this is the only one I got and it's used. So I'm just holding on to this one at the moment just to make sure that I at least have one of my first signature series discs ever. Okay, uh, I do have some more claw mark ones though. So that is, that's a little bit of a relief. I have a few more of these in the car as well because I actually throw this run a lot. It's the best sidearm Glow MD3. Luckily, my fans have actually given me a few of these. Uh, shout out to Dan up in Maine and Chad Bolden for hooking me up with, you know, one of these guys. The Color Glow 5502 edition of the MD3. I have three in the stash, plus a pink one, so four. And I want to say maybe three or four more uh, kind of in the car that I use for some throwing. Now for the Crowned Eagles, my favorite, or I, I think it is probably my favorite and most utilized run of the, the MD3. I love it. I love it. it's a little bit softer, it's workable. Uh, I'll show you the pink one first. This is the last pink one I have. I have four of the blues and they're all really good ones. I found that the more opaque they are, the, the better they fly. I think they're more, I think the plastic's a little bit more dense and you get a little bit more stability out of them. Tri Fly, Huck Lab one and another blue one that's not really as opaque, but still feels good. And these are my prized possessions. Probably some of my favorites in the collection is the purple ones, the transitional. I haven't seen that many of these. They're, they're out there. I thought I only had, I thought I had uh, the, the only ones, but that's not the case. But I got four of them, all different stamps, rainbow stamp, uh, gray stamp, and a black stamp, and this one actually has some milkiness going on. I love it. Okay, now Iron Samurais. I only have three of the OG Iron Samurais, two of them new, gold stamps, one tri-fly that was in the bag for a while that probably could find its way back in the bag. Really, you know, the, the thing I love about the MD3, 
The MD3 is a very consistent run. It just, you know, with the Iron Samurai, the Crown Eagle, the originals, they all have the same MD3 integrity. So that's what makes the MD3 the best Discmania mid-range, in my opinion, at least the best all-around one. You know, you're entitled to your opinion about other ones, but it's cool. And this is, I don't know if you can pick it up, but I haven't seen any Discmania discs like this. It, uh, it's basically a sparkle, it's gray, and it's the same run as the Iron Samurai. It's unstamped. I haven't seen anything like this. It's got some cloudiness. Uh, this thing is very special. I've been meaning to go back to the warehouse to get this stamped up um, with a chef special of something really cool. I have not seen another disc like this. Maybe there was like two or three um, in the run, but really beautiful. Uh, just a, a primal run method. Nothing too special other than the tri-fly. Uh, and basically, I was lucky. I got tired of not having a, a large stash of Iron Samurai, so I, I just took all, I took a bunch. These are all the Iron Samurai 2s. Just want to be safe. I wanna have some backups just in case I like them. So I'm set on Iron Samurai 2s for, for a while, thank goodness. Now it is time for fairway drivers. I think you gotta start off slow. Uh, the first thing I got is I got four, I have a few more of these as well, of the first run three-tooled FD2. Uh, I'm trying to get a stash of these because, guys, these are the best fairway drivers Discmania has ever made. I swear, I absolutely love them. They have really flat feel, the plastic's incredible, and it just, it's so versatile. It's, it flies like an instinct, but less glide, which is great for me. It's flatter, better for forehands. So I got four of the first runs here. I believe I have two more um, in other places. I have one in Alabama. Love this disc. It, I, I don't know what I would do without it. First run, three tool FD2. Uh, okay, okay, this is actually, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, FD2s. Just got two team stamped Royal Rages. Uh, same FD2 three tool, but for some reason I don't like the way these came out. They don't fly as good as the the first run of the standard C line stock run. These are color glow. Um, still good, still good for forehands, but I believe that these have a little bit more turn. And if you hold them in your hand, they are they feel flatter. Like the they feel more compact. And for some reason these are really chalky. I don't know if it's just from being in the box. But. That's, uh, that's not important. I have two Night Strike 3s. I just got these back when I was at the warehouse. I wanted to make sure I had some Night Strike 3s. One Night Strike 1, unfortunately, or one Night Strike 2. Unfortunately, I don't have a Night Strike 1. Um, Primal Run Instinct. And this one is actually probably one of the cooler discs in my collection. You know, this this is a Instinct with a Cloud Breaker stamped. I, I asked them, could I, could I make one up? This is a one of one. There's not another instinct with a cloud breaker stamp out there. So this one is very special to me. Next, let's do, let's do FD3s. Okay, uh, these are all backup, but Glow C-Line FD3. I think I have a few more of these in the car as well, but this is one of the more important discs to my game, one of my go-tos. So these, even though they're collectible, they are backups. And I don't know what I would do without these discs. This was uh, when I was back on uh, Black Ink Discs, one of the old uh, Eagle stamps. I should honestly send this one to Jay at Huck Lab to die up because that would make it beautiful. Shout out to Jaime, this Icy Clear FD3 with the 5503 Eagle stamp on there. I was trying to throw this. Unfortunately, it wasn't as overstable as I wanted it to be, but still just a very, very pretty disc. Doom birds. So I'll just run through some of the Doom birds. Some of them are prettier than others. I actually throw the Doom bird three, so these are kind of backups as well. A lot of these came out very beautiful, pretty swirly. 
this is a special chef special, not one out there like that. And another chef special, one of the prettiest doom birds that I have. Hopefully it's not completely blown out and over overexposed, but that's a pretty one. That's a very pretty one. Sparkly pink stamp on a, just a, a, you know, the stamp choice on this was pretty much perfect in my opinion. And, oh, this one's cool. This is an old Doom Bird run with a crowned eagle stamp. Not, I think Jeff Corns has maybe one or two others of these. Very unique, very abnormal. Just a, a pre-Doom Bird SFD3, very flat. I throw this run every now and then when I want, you know, a nice sidearm feel. These are really flat and pretty overstable. And then some more of the Doom Birds with the, the black ink discs, Eagle Stamp. This one was absolutely beautiful. I remember finding these in the warehouse and I was just blown away by how beautiful they were, are. And I still haven't thrown them just because I wanna preserve their, their prettiness. This one's one of my favorite. This is actually says SFD3 on the back, S line, but as you can see, it's more of a C line plastic. I'm gonna throw this one day. One day I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna throw it and I'm gonna love it because just by the feel, it feels like it's gonna be like a, a luster FD3. It feels, feels so good. This video is gonna be long, it's fine. You know, most people I feel like aren't gonna to wanna to watch this, but the people who do are gonna be really excited too. So we're gonna keep moving through. Uh, first run PDs, this is an old one that I, it's basically a backup. Shout out to Mike Kemp, Grip, Grateful Dead, Die, first run PD. Another first run, brand new first run, first run. This is actually old Paul Macbeth first run PD that he gave to me. And then I got three more that are kind of like a lighter pink. And these are all backups because the first run PD is a, a very important part of my game. But the thing with the first run PD, it's such a, a durable disc. The plastic was so good on it that you never really need to replace it. So I feel like I'm pretty much set on first run PDs for a long time. Last of the fairway drivers, more of a distance driver, but I'll consider it a fairway. Um, Metal Flake Max, I got, these are the only ones I got, so, or I have probably about three or four more, but these are just the ones in the box, just, you know, collecting dust. And three of these are actually really special. Me and Jeff Corns, a while back, we made a joke PD3 stamp before the PD3 even existed. So these are, Ultra rare, really cool. So I'm gonna hold on to those just as a little memento and a fun memory. Now moving into the high speed drivers. We're gonna start with the PD2s. Two really cool kind of transitional SPD2 with a P2 stamp. Uh, these, these are really good. These were kind of like my, my uh, DD3 before the DD3 came out. They were a lot less stable than your typical PD2. So don't really have a need for these anymore other than being in the collection, which I'm gonna keep them there. Uh, another really cool black ink discs, SPD2. Uh, this is a really good run. This is a bomber. I've thought about putting this in the bag a few times. Um, okay, another black ink one. Let's, I'm being tactful on what I show you. Okay, let me, here you go. This, this is my personal favorite and I break this out every once in a while when there's a course that doesn't have much water and I know I could utilize this disc. This is one of the prettiest, uh, PD2s that I have. I absolutely love it. It, I, it's, it's gonna be a wall hanger whenever I have a wall to hang it on. Uh, I've been very mindful on where I throw it. I definitely don't wanna lose this. It's very overstable. This helped me win my first NT in Vegas. I have a very big emotional connection to this disc. I wish every disc could look as good as this one. 
one more black ink guy here. Gosh, I really hate how overexposed it is, but you know, Eagles Vox, it's organic, swirly S-line kind of uh, misprint, really flat, overstable, not really swirly at all. More of a backup than anything. Okay, Hypno Hucks. This is kind of a tie. There's another one that's absolutely beautiful. The Hypno Huck PD2 was my favorite run. I'm starting to run low on them. And the weird thing about Hy Hypno Hucks, it's kind of an ink. The run is inconsistent. Some of them are better than others. Like if you look at this one, it's very flat and um, other ones aren't. So that re that's the reason why I kind of stopped throwing them. I'm throwing more of the Luster and Metal Flake because they're more consistently overstable. But when you get a good Hypno Huck, it's hard to compete with the beauty and the flight. So this is an all-time favorite. It's beat up, it's used, but so freaking pretty. I love that disc. I actually lost it for like a good year and it got sent back to me um, a little over a year later from uh, USTGC. Old fans of mine will remember this disc, Trixie. Basically, uh, this is kind of a relic at this point. One of my all-time favorite PD2s. Probably still flies really good, um, but I figured I'd retire it. It actually used to be a lot uh, more beautiful, but time has took a toll on this disc and kind of wiped away its colors, but it's definitely got a lot of use. And then the, the last two new Hypno Hucks I have, both the same firework stamp, I mean, just a spectacle of beauty, both of these. These might get thrown, they might not. I think I've thrown these out in the field, in the, in the grass, make sure they don't get scuffed up, but these are the last of the, the great Hypno Hucks that I have. Okay, now these are, oh, let me wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run you through a few more. I think I showed you these, got these maybe two years ago, but let me run through this stack of PD2s. Uh, my National Tour Triumph Series, uh, got a little eagle stamp on there. Same thing here. Got the Triumph series with the Imperial Eagle 2 on top. These are all custom stamp discs that I did up at the warehouse. Another guy, Nasty Swirls Triumph series. Another one. And these two actually don't really belong in the collectibles, but they're they're pretty cool. I'm going to bag these at some point. They're newer runs. And one Skyrider, just to say I have a Skyrider. Uh, and the last of the PD2s that I want to show you is the Cloudbreaker. Wait, what? No, these are actually PD2s. Um, right before the Cloudbreaker was released, uh, we needed to do promo material, so we stamped the Swirly S-Line PD2s with the Cloudbreaker stamp. And if you look at the, this, there's something wrong. Something wrong about it. I'm just gonna leave that there and you'll, you'll see why we changed this stamp. Or this one's actually scratched off. Let's, let's see if you can, uh, you can uh, notice what's wrong with these. But there's only six of these in existence. Um, so, very rare, especially with the special stamp. So these could, these are very collectible. Very, very collectible. But you ain't getting your hands on one, I'm sorry. You ain't getting none of this. Right, that was a little cringy. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay, give me one sec. All right, the moment you have all been waiting for and a lot of people ask me, Eagle, can I buy a cloud breaker from you? And this makes me feel weird on the inside, but I don't want to get rid of them. I really don't. These are, this is my stash of prototype cloud breakers. The first ones that come in the mystery boxes. This one's not that pretty, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to cycle through these one by one. Try to get decent lighting. And I had the opportunity to go to the Disc Mania warehouse right when they got in. And I was able to pick out some of the best ones. And there are 
very beautiful, very disgusting, and they're probably still one of the best runs of Cloudbreaker, the prototypes. A lot of glide. Of course, there's a dog barking, but that's just the way it is. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, some of these are even a little bit more special than others. Like, there's a beautiful cloud breaker. And then you look at the back. I had them stamp a PGA National Tour Triumph Series on the back. So that makes it even more special. A deep purple one. Oh gosh, this one's disgusting. Oh, a cinnamony red one with the Triumph Series on the back. There's just nothing like these guys. Nothing like these. Oh, this, I feel weird showing these off. I don't mean to flex, guys. I really don't, but this is just, when you're on Discmania, it all could be yours. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Uh, this one is an unstamped Tri-Fly prototype. Uh, another purple one, the exposure's really bad on that. Uh, another cool bottom stamp. Another bottom stamp. Bada bing, bada boom. There's a lot of these here. I think I have about 23 to 24 of the prototypes. This one's more of a dark, darker color. Oh, and this one coming up is one of the best ones. Oh boy, look at that thing. Ugh, Ugh. disgusting. And then a little cookies and cream action. Very nice. Okay, moving on, we'll go in chronological order. Just two of the actual first runs, Chef Special Stamp. Nothing too crazy here, except the Team Stamps, Chef Special. And then these are some of the first ones to come out, the purple ones. A little less stable, but really good for sidearms. Um, and then these are the second run Cloud Breakers. There's nothing, you know, nothing too crazy about these ones. I, I, they're a decent run. I like the prototypes and the third runs better. They fly a little bit better. And there's some blizzarding in the rim, but you know we still got some some good swirls in the second run. Let me just move through them pretty quick. A little swirly there, purple, and these were these were some of the best ones. This one was super swirly, unstamped. This one is absolutely disgusting. Um, if you look at the back too, very swirly, no stamp, and kind of like a little halo effect. Here, you know, the dog is ruining my video, but it's Vlogmas and we don't have time to reshoot this. So that's just the way it's gonna go. Uh, Y'all have heard a dog barking before. And unfortunately, I only have two of the third run cloud breakers, which is becoming one of my favorites because it's the most overstable. I can torque on it the most. It's almost similar to, let's say, the, the Sky Rider, but it has a little bit more glide. Back this year, 2020, most of the time I was cranking on one of these, whether it be uh, forehand or backhand, the third run cloud breakers are great. And then lastly, I actually don't have that many of these compared to all the other ones. These are the Cloudbreaker 2s. Um, very successful release. A lot of people didn't get one, which I feel bad about, but uh, these are the ones I got. I don't have as many as I would like. Got some very beautiful yellow ones. Uh, I don't really throw yellow, but it's good for the stash. The best Cloudbreaker 2s were the blue ones that had the kind of halo effect that had the, the best feel in the hand. I was throwing one for um, a little bit of the year for like a sidearm. Unfortunately, I threw it in the water at USDGC. Another blue one and a purple one. And that was the Cloud Breakers. And I have one more uh, box of discs to show you, kind of the special discs to me. And then we're gonna wrap this up and head to the giveaway. This video has been really long and I don't know how much interest it's gonna spark, but you know, it's, it's Vlogmas Day 9, guys. Okay, let's get to this, this cool box. Okay, now, this box is not necessarily Discmania, just some discs that I find really cool and special to me. 
that I collect. I'm gonna run through these pretty quick with the finale of being one disc. It's the most valuable disc I own by far, but really cool Ching Rock that used to be in my bag. Just a, a special disc. A Metal Flake FD3 that has sentimental reason. Uh, Dos Loomis gave this to me. The first disc uh, Mike Kemp sent me the, I believe, what is it, is it a Freedom? Uh, I don't even know. I believe it's a Bolt, quotes a rock, uh, Queens of the Stone Age die. And, and here's a cool little run of discs. Uh, I got my USDGC discs going from year number one, year number two, year number three, year number four, and I don't believe I got one this year. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. I probably would have kept it because I, I'm enjoying collecting the number of USDGCs I have played. So, uh, Sky in Alabama actually gave me three old wraiths with Peter Shive stamp. For those of you who don't know, Peter Shive is a, a legend in the sport. He's been playing for a long time. He's a, a senior grandmaster disc golf champion. So I got some old you know, 168 wraiths. I believe that these are these are flight number. Uh, so there there's some good old wraiths right here. Old school PD2 that I was bombing for rollers. This was my flippy PD2. Overas Frisbee Golf Club from Norway. Shout out to the PCS Open. Okay, uh, two of the discs from the GBO Pro Panel, both times that I have uh, been a part of it. Got a bunch of cool signatures here. Tony Farrow, uh, my buddy from Switzerland, gave me this chainsaw, and I, you know, still holding on to it, still a special disc to me. The Oakley's Wedding disc, this is a harp. I figured that I would take one of these because, you know, I was a part of the wedding and it's a good memory. Shout out to Robert Maidla. He gave me this, this zone with his name on it, my Estonian friend, Robert and Andrea Maidla, uh, some of my good buddies from Estonia. Then, wow, I, I still have this disc. A Spongle dyed Pat Number Destroyer, so pre-flight destroyer right here. Uh, yeah, you gotta love some Spongle in your life. Yarva Disc Golf Park, my favorite course in the world. I picked this up as a souvenir. Old school pearly gator that I absolutely love. Big germ stamp on the back. Probably not that stable anymore, but it's, it's a good thing to have in your collection. Uh, I got some 12 time T-Birds, very opaque. Uh, don't really have a use for these, but you know, these cherry red T-Birds, I remember being a lot of fun to throw and I never, I never wanted to get rid of them. Uh, old SDS Destroyer. One of my old favorite discs, 172. This thing was a workhorse in my bag for a while before I got sponsored. Really cool disc right here. The Cloudbreaker has completely replaced it, but you know, this was this brings back good memories. Um Jerry S Line P2. I was actually throwing this a bit last or I was actually throwing this a bit uh this uh this year and was working pretty good. Uh, you know, this P2 is a little bit flatter and really comfortable in the hand. Was throwing it at the, get out of your fly, uh, at the, the Preserve and the DD Open. Really liked it, but you know, I decided to stick with the Tiger Warrior and P3X. Team Whale Sacks mini disc. And then the final disc. Okay, this is by far the most expensive disc I own. Jeff Corns gave it to me, uh, and Paul Macbeth gave it to Jeff Corns. And I don't think I could ever sell this disc unless there was charity involved, or you know, this is just a you know, this is a piece of history right here. So it's in a bag. I'm gonna reveal it. 
look at that. It is a Paul McBeth AVR stamped destroyer with the Air Force mega swirly and yeah, there's no reason for this ever to leave the bag. So shout out to Jeff Corns for giving me one of these. I'm, I don't think I'll ever sell this disc unless there's charity involved. But you know, I think uh, this is just a, this is literally a piece of history right here. And I believe that there's just value, value in that. Okay guys, well, thank you guys for, you know, duking it out with me through this video. Uh, we got a giveaway to go to. And you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give away something good this video because I would feel really guilty if I showed you all my collectible discs and I didn't give you a collectible disc. So let's head back to the house and get the giveaway rolling. Okay. Okay, now time to get to the giveaway. Yesterday I asked you guys, what is your favorite course to watch on tour on Jomez Central Coast? Whatever it is, basically your favorite event of the year. And Alex Potter is your winner of the Kyle Klein Glow Sea Line MD5 Triumph Series Edition. 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 Jeez, Eagle. And he wrote, my favorite tournament to watch is the European Open because a lot of people come to spectate and it's so cool to see the fairways lined with thousands of people. Great answer, Alex. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorites as well. Okay, so since this was a uh, basically a video of me showing off expensive discs, um, I'm going to give away this right here. It is the Glow P-Line P2, or I believe it's Glow. Wait, let me see. Is it Glow? Is it Glow? It's Glow. This is the original Imperial Eagle One Run Glow P-Line P2 with a team stamp. So the Glow P-Line P2s go for uh, over $100. So I don't know if the team stamp makes it more or less valuable, but regardless, this is a beautiful disc, brand new. And if you would like to win it, please post. Just say, just say what's your favorite disc you own in the comment section below. It could be collectible, it could be uh, your go-to disc in your bag. Just, you know, comment down below, tell me about it, and you could win this tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to day number nine of Vlogmas. And until next time, keep on dreaming. Peace, and subscribe. Oh, <laughs>